Hello everyone, um, little announcement video today, uh, with some casual Age of Empires 2 playing in the background. Um, I specifically chose this game because I would be able to keep talking. Uh, basically, I just wanted to put out a little video because I've been struggling to put out videos recently, so I was going to make it just a quick, simple one in... I don't need to add it much. And uh, basically, I just mostly wanted to say that I am putting the Warhammer Total War series on hold for now because I feel like I want to focus on what I am doing right now in Fallout 4 and also on keeping a series going where I will be playing a multitude of different games rather than uh, what I have been doing with just a bunch of series. Because I don't feel like there's much of a point yet in me just like, uh, you know, sticking to a single game for a longer amount of time right now. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. And also, um, uh, because of my computer specs and problems with the mods in the Warhammer Total War thing, I might just put put out one video a week, well, as I have been doing, but record it on my significant other's computer because it's stronger, and she's at work all day anyway. So you know. Um, yeah. In other news, I am working on a uh, my most thorough build yet in Fallout 4. Whereas the fortresses and stuff that I have been building have been very architecturally imposing rather than like how to say uh, dramatically imposing like what I'm doing now, which is more try to tell a tale rather than just being something that I got an idea about and wanted to build. Like the older things, like the castle and... Well, I mean, the castle sort of does that better. My castle build, I uh, sort of tried to make it look... Realistic is probably the wrong word, since it's a pretty realistic game, no matter what you build, but... Um, I've tried to make it look more actual homebrewy sort of post-apocalypse than what it, my older builds were. Uh, and also going through those other builds from my first character has really made me, you know, want to get back to my roots, so to say, and build settlements for living in. So I'm working on a special settlement, which I haven't seen many very big builds on myself. Apparently it's uh, a bit annoying to build on, I've been noticing the bugs myself, but so far I'm enjoying it. It's a uh, it's a nice little building, uh, nice little build rather, so far. And uh, yeah, I hope you'll enjoy it as well. When it's done, which it won't be for a while longer. Um. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Got a bit of a headache. That's dumb. When you're making a video like this. So yeah, this isn't supposed to be anything super long, but I just thought I'd explain why some series might not might start updating even slower, like some weeks there might not be a Warhammer episode, I might upload something else more fun, like uh, Stonehearth, which I've been getting back into, uh, or, uh, oh, they're all after me. Oh shit, way. Yes. Basically, that's it. Also, uh, I'm learning a lot about YouTubing doing this. I'm learning a lot about video editing and uh, 
how to make stuff work on YouTube. And uh, as you might have noticed, I've only just figured out uh, title cards, and how to make them thing. So that's happening on some older videos, hopefully. Uh, also, I think that's really hard to do for the Warhammer ones. Uh, um, but it's fun. It's good. I'm uh, not got much more to say about that. There was something else I was going to talk about. Well, until I remember, let's talk about coffee. Coffee is great, isn't it? Some of you probably said no. Then you're wrong. Coffee is great. You know, most people in modern society are addicted to coffee, and that's not a bad thing because. Coffee addictions aren't actually very negative. They've got barely any negative side effects except, you know, dental health and to some degree your mental well-being and could cause stress. But, you know, other than those minuscule things, it's great. However, I'd like to recommend to you all, if you usually drink brewed coffee that you've brewed yourself in, one of these big, like, percolators or drop machines, drip machines, drip I think you call them, uh, then I'd recommend going over to fr French press coffee, and buying a French press and pressing it yourself. Now people will tell you that you need special brands of coffee or special like grounds for it to work, but you really don't. That's just people being people, I, you really do not. I use pretty much any ground coffee in my French press, it works fine. Uh, yeah, so that's the thing. Uh, good types of coffee uh, would be coffees that aren't too sour, and uh, the bitter coffees work really well in a French press because they get. I don't know why. Not going to pretend I know the science behind it, but they tend to have a better sort of uh, just. It brings out the bitterness in a nicer way. The sort of cho dark chocolatiness of some coffees comes out much better in a French press than in a dripper or a percolator. So that's nice. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's that might have been it. I'm... Uh, well... I wasn't going to start doing that yet, because I don't have many comments and I haven't really started marketing my videos yet, for obvious reasons. There's <laughs> what, like, less than 50 videos on my channel, I don't really want to start bringing in viewers before I've got this all, you know, sort of under control and, you know, uh, fought through. But I'd really want to uh, live stream some of my builds, because once I do get to building and gathering resources in Fallout 4, it's, I mean, it's very eventful. Ooh, murder time. Age of Empires 2 is the best game because attacking civilians is completely acceptable. What do you mean dark? That's not dark. You're dark! Oh, I why do people always rise up and kill their oppressors? Fuck. So rude, isn't it? Here I come. Off for a bit of pressing. What do they do? They kill my bloody horsemen. How am I supposed to oppress them if I don't have horsemen, huh? How am I supposed to oppress my own people if I don't have horsemen? What? What? Explain to me, viewer. Sorry. Sorry. I'm going to calm down now. But seriously, you can't just go around killing oppressors like that. That's how the free world dies. What's what's the point of a free world if a dictator is not allowed to do what he wants, eh? Exactly. Um. Oh, let's talk about news because this video is really short so far, and I want to make it longer. Trump's a cunt. 